So this video is going to go through word problems, which are just careful reading problems. And so you're going to look at the problem, you look at the problem, and kind of cross out things you don't need. That's nice information, but not that big a deal. You earn nine dollars per dog. That means nine dollars times any dog that you walk. How many dogs do you need to make to walk to learn at least seventy-five? That means I could earn seventy-five. I could also earn more. So I'm just going to call D my variable for dogs. And you could earn nine dollars. You need to earn nine dollars per dog. That means nine times the number of dogs has to be greater than or equal to the amount of money. So simple inequality divide by nine. Now it doesn't go in evenly. It goes in eight uh, with a remainder of three. You can't walk a third of a dog. So if you want to make at least 75, you're going to have to walk nine dogs. A cheerleading squad earns 550 per car wash. So that's kind of like your multiplier here. How many cars does it need to wash to earn at least 77? Again, at least means I'm going to be using greater than or equal to. So C is cars washed. And I get 550 for every car, and it has to be at least 77. So I'm going to multiply that out, or divide that out and round up to the nearest whole car. Because again, you can't stop washing a car in the middle of the car. So your answer has to make sense. Uh, it goes in 15 something with some extra stuff left over. So I'm going to have to wash 16 cars. This little chart, you'll talk about it more in class. Um, this has some of the keywords for you to use when you're looking at uh, inequalities, when you're looking at a word problem. Uh, the ones that are a little tricky, no more than, no less than, um, any of the equals, you got to make sure to find out, just got to read carefully, see if it makes sense. You want to make a rectangular banner for the student council section at homecoming that's 18 feet long. Okay, so it's a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a picture right now. And I know it's going to be 18 feet long. You have no more than, that's our keyword, no more than. Forty-eight feet of trim. So the most of banner that we could use is 48. So our, it has to be less than or equal to 48. That's a key. What are the possible widths of the banner? So W is what we're finding. And I'm going to put that on my picture. So the other things on my picture it's a rectangle, so the opposite sides are equal. So I have 18 plus 18 with the length, so that's 36, plus I have two widths. So 2w plus 36 is less than or equal to 48. Pretty easy to solve. Subtract 36. 2w... Less than or equal to 12. So the width would have to be less than or equal to 6. So what are the possible widths? Anything 6 or less. In a community garden, you want a fence in a regular rectangular garden that's 12 feet wide. Again, a rectangle. Only this time we know the width is 12. You have no more than 42 feet of fence. A lot of these problems with materials, you're going to be doing less than. So no more than... 42 means I can use 42, but I have to be less than or equal to that. What are the possible lengths of your garden? So I'm going to call L be my length. And so the total amount needed of fence would be 12 plus 12, which is 24. 
plus 2L. Some people often forget the two there. That's why you want to make a picture. So I subtract 24, divide by two. The length would have to be less than or equal to nine. That's kind of weird. The length is uh, less than the width, but it doesn't really matter which one is which. Okay, another kind of problem is, uh, is a cell phone bill or like a fixed cost and a variable cost. This is one of those. So I have a cell phone plan that costs $39.99 a month. So I'm paying that no matter what, plus 15 cents for each text message. You budget no more than 45. Again, that's that no more than. We gotta spend 45 or less. And I know you got unlimited plans. This is just a practice problem. What's the maximum number of text messages you can send? So T is for text. So I have 39.99 plus 15 cents for every text. And that's my total cost. So I can divide by 30 or subtract 39.99. and divide by 0.15 so you can finish that on your calculator make sure this is a whole number for your final answer okay student council wants to run a ballroom for prom they charge a flat rate of fifteen hundred dollars plus an additional hourly rate suppose the student council is raised so that that's the amount of money they have so again they cannot spend more than they have so the variable is the number of hours. So it costs $125 for every hour, plus no matter what, just for renting it, it costs $1,500. So subtract $1,500. Six hundred twenty-five. Bring down the one twenty-five, and then divide. And that goes in five times. So as long as we run it for five hours or less, we have enough money. So the key is for the word problems, you're going to recognize some patterns, but you're looking for which sign to use. If it said I want to raise money instead of rent money. And I want to raise it and get at least 2125, that would have changed my inequality to greater than or equal to.